It's been claimed that Leonardo da Vinci and the British toy company Meccano both did this. What was it, and what were their motives in each case? I'll say that again, it's been claimed that Leonardo da Vinci and the British toy company Meccano both did this. What was it, and what were their motives in each case? Can I, before we start, can I just say I recognise that given the uh, expertise of my two team members, uh, I really feel like if this were D&D, I'd be the bard. So I'm just here, I'm just here for flavour. <laughs> Everyone on the panel got that joke. That was wonderful. <laughs> now, the bard definitely has has their uses. Do you Thanks, mate. Yeah, back I, yourself. I, I appreciate that, sure. Yeah, sure. you've got your uses. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one can identify them, but they are there, and the bard really believes in themselves. <laughs> and I know that producer and scriptwriter David is just taking notes now, saying D and D intro for future episode. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I feel like having been a bard several times in various oh, different yeah. contexts. I feel like, I mean, we can't all be bards, right? This guy. <laughs> oh, that's an all bard party. Some people have done that. At some point. I think you've just invented the concept of a band. <laughs> 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 I love it. I'm into yeah, we it. We all step off our stools for the key change on the loot. Yep. <laughs> to the I don't know much about D and D. The bards like creative vibes. Yeah, kind of creative. They often bring a loot. Yeah. I'm saying this as if I'm an expert. I'm very new to D and D. I could just I was I was simply trying to get the message across that like oh my god, Katie and Soph have got real hard skills, whereas I've kind of made a life for myself with soft skills. You know, getting by, trying to be charismatic, and these days everyone does that as well as the hard skills <laughs> they bothered learning. So I'm like oh, okay. Well, I feel like the hard skill that matters for this question is if anyone has played with Meccano. Is that is Meccano the Sticks and the cogs. Is that it's, what that It's one like is? the flat metal strips that are yes. rounded at the corners with holes all the way down. It's like Lego that um, hurts. Yeah. It's like it's it is, Lego yeah. that's quite painful it's to play better with. Better for fighting than regular Lego, um, okay. from, from my recollection as a Classic child. Classic bard. Classic bard. <laughs> yeah, yeah higher hit point Lego. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's Meccano. Um, I mean, I, I feel like my experience of Meccano and my vague knowledge of things that Leonardo da Vinci did should help me here, but I'm not yes. getting anything really. I think Leonardo da Vinci, I'm thinking, I'm thinking circles. I'm thinking the guy in the circle, right? That's famous. I mean, I know it wasn't called that. The guy <laughs> but... in the circle, as it is officially known, um, uh, Vitruvian Man was, I think it was like an attempt to like create something that had the perfect proportions. Uh, and uh, I know a couple of maths things about it. So like it has uh, the golden ratio in it. Uh, okay. I, c I can imagine that the reason for including that is because it was kind of a cool, fashionable thing at the time, I guess. Uh, I d <laughs> like the golden ratio sort of does turn up in a lot of places, but not as many as people say it does. Um, I, I love the <laughs> idea that something, I don't really know what the golden ratio is, but it sounds timeless and yet not as cool as it was. I yeah. love the idea that something can be timeless <laughs> yeah. and still fatty. It's just, it's Gold like, depreciating, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just everywhere. If you, if you talk to some people and then if you actually look, it isn't really that everywhere oh, I see. Um, but it, it's you know it's nice it's a pleasing thing uh, okay. but i can i can't I, I sort of wonder if there's something about Meccano that uses mm, it that like they've got okay. the different sizes of pieces it's or... got little circles in it so you can get Meccano you can put your axle through your plus two <laughs> axle good for stabbing um you put that yeah. through a bit of Meccano and it'll go round and you could use it like a compass <laughs> so definitely Meccano is wheels and points and on that basis is our answer drawing circles because that's yeah. <laughs> oh, could Leonardo or that was Giotto I think could do a perfect circle freehand mm. so there could be something like that now my my uh, soft skills are just watching Tom's face to try and see to play warmer colder <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking circles no I'm not thinking yeah, circles anymore. I'm doing a lot of that as well like the psychoanalysis of Tom's, Tom's yeah, you are all quite cold at the moment unfortunately okay. it's okay. not about Vitruvian man and that sort of mathematical perfection so he built a helicopter right this is the yeah, thing about da Vinci. I thought wings my first thought was wings don't know what mm. context but something related to wings they both and this is something they both tried to do so what can have thinking laterally for a moment what can Leonardo and Meccano in different eras have both tried to do would it be something for children or something could it be it was a good Tom face it raised an eyebrow <laughs> The question did say it's claimed that they both did this. This isn't really something oh, you I attempt. See. It's just claimed that they did this. Oh, okay. I see. They so, both... it, I mean, mm. like, if I, I, I'm going to say Da Vinci didn't actually build a functioning working helicopter because mm. if he did, I'm sure we would know about that because <laughs> sure. helicopters would be mm -hmm. <laughs> existing a lot earlier than they actually did. Yes. Um, 
And I almost wonder if like Meccano attempted to put together a kit that was a functioning helicopter, but couldn't somehow. Or... Yes. We don't know from the question who claimed it, whether mm. Leonardo and, and Meccano claimed it or whether it was claimed by a mm. mysterious third party. So it's been claimed that they both made flying machines that didn't work, potentially. Or, or maybe that did work. Maybe it's claimed that they both did do it. Maybe there's no proof of Leonardo having built and flown in his helicopter, but it's claimed that he did. And maybe there is a claim that someone can create a flying machine out of Meccano. Mm. I think the words to focus in on there are Sophie saying didn't work. There's something about the, the things they're making. They um, both failed. Don't we all? Time travel? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Meccano time travel? So some um, of the other things that uh, Da Vinci designed would be things like a, a tank and a, a catapult. In, engines of war, mm. weapons of war, weapons. instruments. Um, that didn't work. Did they like, produce something that was meant to be used by the military, but then it didn't work? Da Vinci was quite famously a pacifist. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't oh, feel like a Da Vinci vibe, really. Did they both make weapons that purposely didn't work? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a good idea. Very close now. I'm yes. enjoying the idea of Meccano doing this. Yeah, yeah, like, I well, can think about the Meccano <laughs> aspect. But I guess for kids, you want to give your kid like a weapon that won't actually damage anything. And if Da Vinci yeah. was also a pacifist, then it's like, oi, oi, here's a catapult. Ha-ha. Did they both invent Nerf in different eras? <laughs> 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 because I remember Lego, they famously didn't do, originally Lego didn't make any brown or green pieces because they didn't want um, children to make weapons. They didn't want tanks and army. Oh, you couldn't make army mm. Lego. So something like, I mean, so if you're weapons that, weapons that don't work, weapons that deliberately don't work. What did Leonardo and Meccano both actually produce? Plans. Diagrams. Yeah, yeah, like instructions for making things. It's claimed that they both created instructions for a weapon and Leonardo decided not to use it, maybe destroyed his instructions for a weapon. Or they, they made instructions that didn't include all of the steps. Oh, and so, that's so good! Yeah, okay. So they they left because they wanted the person who was making it to have to come up with the final steps themselves or something? Yeah. I don't, is that the I'll, logic behind I'll it? I'll take that. That's absolutely wow, it. they had to earn a gun. <laughs> <laughs> so for Leonardo da Vinci, it may have been for copyright, so people couldn't just steal his designs unless you were enough of an engineering brain to notice the mistake. It could have been because he didn't want the military to use them. Um, for Meccano... It is claimed that they sometimes had deliberate errors to challenge the ingenuity of the kids who were doing it. So deliberate mistakes is, is the connection. Claim. Now, that. honestly, that's what I'd claim if my instructions had accidental mistakes in them when I was a job <laughs> toy company. Yeah. I often write jokes that did, are deliberately unfunny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to check check your audience. Yeah. yeah. Are they were the other last word. <laughs> also, the little like dorky kid in me that like every time I saw a mistake on the board was like, that apostrophe is wrong, lives for that. <laughs> like going through the instructions and being like, where's the mistakes in here? Yeah. Yes, pedant proof. Diagram, diagrams. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so yes, Leonardo da Vinci and Meccano, it is said, both added deliberate errors to their designs. 